Go ahead and get your hands ready to do, and we will uh, get going. First up, Max Baker, Columbia, Missouri, and take away, Max. Hey, Michael, I guess where would, what would, how would you assess, the, I guess, the offensive lines play through the first three weeks, um, just overall? Uh, I mean, our, our goal is just to get better every day. Every day we go out to practice, and then uh, the test is on game day, so just trying to get better. Mitch, 40 power, does he take away Mitch? Michael, um, I know, you know, Kentucky's defense has been really effective over the past two weeks, but take the ball away and keeping opponents out of the end zone. What are the specific challenges that, that they present? Uh, they're a good team. We just have to uh, try to eliminate uh, our mistakes and just play our game, and, and we'll, uh, we'll see what the outcome is. Jack Sobel from the main eater. Go ahead, Jack. Hey, Michael. Uh, so one of the main features of Drinkwitz's, Coach Drinkwitz's offense it has been those jet and orbit motions that we see all the time. Uh, can you describe how having those motions pre-snap uh, kind of makes your job as, as blockers easier? Um, I mean, it helps with, uh, with like linebacker alignment and things like that. But uh, at the end of the day, you still got to stay in front of the guy, whoever's there, you know. So we should try to Kansas City Star. Go ahead. Hey, Michael, have, has your body kind of felt the physicality of just playing three SEC opponents to start off? Like, how does it kind of compare to the Big Ten, maybe? Uh, my body feels good, honestly. Coach does a good job of uh, taking care of us, and I mean the the, uh, the training room is awesome. So uh, I feel really good, actually. Eric Blum, Columbia Tribune. Go ahead, Eric. Hey, Mike. Uh, Coach, uh, sorry, a couple people have mentioned on the call already that uh, there was a meeting at some point where Coach Trinquants uh, asked everybody to raise their hand if they beat Kentucky on the team or something like that, and no one raised their hand in the room. Uh, being that you were at Rutgers for all of those matchups or whatever since the last time they had won, what's your reaction when you saw something like that? And then does that add motivation to what you want to do? Absolutely. But you know, I'm, I'm motivated every day to go out and uh, especially with uh, with everything we got going on. So I'm, I'm excited to just go out there and play. Colin O'Brien, Jeff City. Go ahead, Colin. Hey, Mike. Uh, just what do you feel like you guys did? better in the run game uh, against LSU than maybe you did the first two weeks? Was it just guys winning their one-on-ones up front more frequently? Uh, we, we just played together, and uh, Coach was, uh, was calling good plays, and, and we just executed. And uh, hopefully we keep that thing rolling. Anyone else have anything for Mike? Bennett Durando, got it in. Go ahead, Bennett. Hey, Mike, we were just talking with Grant McInnes, who who's a former Kentucky guy. I don't know if this is something that – that you guys talk about just like the transfer experience at all, but is, is that something that comes up at all? And what can you sort of say about that? And, and I know it's different with him getting to play that team, but, but sort of, is there, is that sort of a thing that you guys bond over at all? Uh, not necessarily. No, but uh, I'm sure for him, he, he, uh, he got a little extra juice to him this week, you know? Okay. That'll do. Thank Bye. you. Thank you.